I so enjoyed making my last clock, so I've decided to make another one. So come with me and we'll make this clock together. Come on. So I've just purchased this clock base and kit from my local Kmart. I think it was about $9, $9.50, something like that. And here I am just removing it from the packaging, removing the workings from the back and removing the hands. Once unpacked, spray the front and the back of the plywood sheeting with some sealer. Once the sealer has completely dried, start painting the clock base in your choice of paint. I've used a homemade chalk paint made from a paint sample that I bought from my local hardware store and I turned it into chalk paint by using a product called Matted and Tatted. Once the paint had been applied, I then put some paint on a sponge and then I dabbed it with the sponge up and down to get a little bit of a, a rough textured stippling effect. Once you've finished painting the sides of the clock base, turn it over and continue painting the back so when you've finished making your clock, it has a more of a finished appearance. Once we've painted the clock base front and back and let it completely dry, preferably overnight, that's when the fun starts and we start layering our paint. Here I'm using a, again, a homemade chalk paint and I'm just applying it with a palette knife. Because I'll be moving the paint with a straw later on, I'm just misting the paint to stop it from drying completely. Now that I've finished laying down all my paint colours, I've started to apply water with the misting bottle and I'm now just dabbing the paint where it was a little bit thicker in sections and that's also to smooth it out and to mix it with the water to then get a watered down paint. Once I've finished blending, I've given a little bit of a dry just to see how it's going to look. And now I'm just adding a little bit of extra color.
Now that all the paint colours are laid down onto the base, I'm now wetting it with water and proceeding to blow the paint with a plastic straw. This will um, push the paint around in with the water and blends all of the paints together and then you get a bit of a running paint effect. Once you've finished laying down all your base colours and you've blown the paint around and you're liking the design that you've got, let the base dry completely, preferably overnight. And now we'll need to start prepping our stencil medium. So for the stencil medium, I have used a homemade chalk paint. Again, it's just a sample pot from the hardware store that I have uh, mixed with matted and tattered to make the chalk paint and now I'm just adding a multi-purpose filler powder again purchased from the hardware store mixing that together uh, making sure that it's well mixed when you're happy with the consistency of the stencil medium put your stencil over the base of the clock and start applying the medium with a palette knife and you just spread it on as if you were buttering a piece of toast. Once the stencil is completely covered with the stencil medium, start removing the stencil from the base. Just lift it very carefully so then all of the putty or the mixture will adhere to the base and not get lifted off with the stencil. Once the stencil has been removed, just give it a quick dryer rooney with a hair dryer or a heat gun. Once the stencil has been allowed to completely dry, that's when we start adding our whitewash. And all my whitewash is, is just watered down white chalk paint. So all we are doing is just painting the white chalk paint on and then just removing it with a cloth. If the chalk paint is a little bit too dry, you can just mist it with the water to reactivate it. And then you just continue patting with the cloth to remove it. And then we just keep doing this until we are happy with the effect that we're getting. So it's just a process of adding the whitewash on, removing, letting it dry, seeing how it looks. If you're not happy, adding some more um, and then wetting it and then removing it. And you just keep doing that until you're happy with the end result. Once all the whitewashing is finished and you're happy with how it's looking, let the base dry completely because we want to make sure that it's completely dry so none of the chalk paint is activated with the next step. So now what we're doing is we're just adding some metallic paint to a sponge and we are then just wiping the sponge over the raised stencil of the clock um, and then that is just picking up the paint from the sponge and then just colouring the raised parts. When you've finished adding the metallic paint to the raised stencil, then start adding the metallic paint to the sides and the edges of the clock.
when you've finished adding all of the metallic paint to the stencil and the sides of the base then just take it outside and give it a quick spray of some sealer I uh, definitely recommend doing this outside because the spray sealer has a very strong odor or you can do a brushed on um, top coat it's entirely up to you which application you choose And now we just start putting the clock back together. Ta-da! And now our clock is finished.